Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. Today's tutorial is all about hemming corners. You usually find this in home decorating projects such as tablecloths, napkins, placemats. So we're gonna show you different techniques you can use in order to get a really nice looking corner. We're gonna be showing you how to do a simple corner and also two different demonstrations on how to do mitered corners. So let's go ahead and get started. The first technique I'm gonna demonstrate, it won't give you a mitered corner, but it's fast, it's easy, and it works in a pinch. So what I'm gonna do is, this is just my fabric that I'm using as a sample. I'm gonna flip it over so you're looking at the wrong side of the fabric. On two of the opposite edges, so I'm gonna do this edge and this edge, I'm gonna fold over whatever I want my hem to be for my item. So I'm just gonna say a half inch, for all these, you definitely wanna have your sewing gauge and your straight pins handy. So I'm folding over to the wrong side, a half inch, and then I'm gonna pin it into place along the whole edge. So I'm gonna do this side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. After I pin each side, I'm gonna go ahead and press it so I have a nice crisp edge. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these pins. You're gonna take this raw edge and you're gonna fold it to the crease line that was created when you pressed it. And then you're just gonna refold it, repin it, and repress it. Next, we're gonna do the same steps on the other two opposite ends that we haven't folded yet. So I'm gonna take this side, fold it a half inch, press it, then take the raw edge and meet it to the crease and pin it all into place and press it again. Now, the only thing about this, you don't really wanna do it with really heavy weight fabric. You wanna to stick to lightweight because it is building in this corner with all the folding and you wanna make sure that it doesn't get too thick for you to machine stitch it. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish the two opposite sides and then we're gonna stitch it into place. Lastly, I'm gonna sew as close as I can to this folded edge and you wanna make sure that your stitches are as crisp as possible as well. So once I get to this other side, I'm gonna leave my needle down, lift my foot and pivot my fabric, and then sew in the other direction. That way I can make sure that my stitches are gonna follow along with the line of the edge of the item that I'm sewing. So you get a nice corner both in your fold and in your stitches. Here's my corner from the right side. Obviously you wanna use matching thread. It'll look a lot nicer. I just did a contrasting one so it'd be a little bit easier for you to see. So now we're gonna move on to another demonstration. So let me bring in a brand new corner here. Now with this one, you're gonna end up with more of a mitered corner. So I think it looks a lot neater. You're gonna start with looking at the right side of your fabric and we're gonna start it off kind of similar where you're gonna grab your sewing gauge and on each edge, you're gonna fold over again from the wrong side to the right side. So this is the opposite now that we just did. Whatever you want your hem allowance to be. So I'm gonna do a half inch again. And I'm gonna also do this other side as well. But I'm gonna kinda of leave the corner alone for right now. So just hem up best you can the half inch all the way around. Just leave the corners for now and then I'll show you what to do next. This next part is a little tricky. So we have our two sides that are folded the half inch and then we have our corner piece sticking up here. So you're gonna slowly bring in these two edges until they meet and you have this 90 degree angle here. This corner piece right here, so we have a corner right here, this should be folded in half when you bring these two sides together. So I'm gonna pinch this area right here just to hold it, and I'm gonna fold it so this side is underneath this side. So bring it underneath, the two sides come together, and you have this corner piece still sticking out. So now I'm gonna draw a line, and you're seeing I'm following right along the edge of this fabric here with it folded. So I'm starting here, ending where this is, and then I'm just drawing a line, just so I use it as a guideline. I'm gonna also stick a pin to hold this corner so I don't have to worry about it anymore, and it'll stay in place. 
And if you need to, you can go ahead and press your edges so we get a nice crisp edge. What we're gonna do next, is so you're gonna sew right along this line here. And you need to be careful that you're sewing just the corner piece. You can see we have this extra triangle. So just this fabric here and not actually sewing it to our main fabric in the middle here because we don't need it stitched. We're just trying to create a corner on the edge here. So we're gonna take it to the machine next. I'm sewing this corner piece and I just went ahead and removed some of my pins so I could pull out this corner even more to make sure that I'm just sewing this fabric right here. So it's not very big. I'm just gonna go down the edge and then don't forget to back stitch. After you finish stitching the corner, you're gonna wanna trim it so you're leaving a quarter of an inch past the stitching. I'm not cutting anything else but just this excess corner piece. So you can see a quarter of an inch is left there. Then you're gonna take this seam allowance, even though it's really tiny, and you're gonna press it open. Now because we still have this folded edge here, let me just take my scissors really quickly and I'm gonna open that up. Careful not to cut your stitches or anything else. So that way we can take the seam allowance and you can open it up and press it open like this. Go ahead and remove your straight pins. The next step is we're gonna take all this and we're gonna flip it to the wrong side because we want all our hem to eventually be on the wrong side of our, let me just put it like this, it's a little bit easier for me, to be on the wrong side of our project. So here you can see my mitered corner, if you wanna use a little pointer or something to kinda make this corner a little bit more pointy. It's looking actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and repin this the half inch so we can finish up our hem. If you don't worry about your raw edges or if you use a serger or overcast thread in order to finish the raw edges, you can go ahead and just stitch down along the fold and be done with the whole thing. If you don't want your raw edges to show, this corner makes it a little tricky to turn under. So what I do is I start with the corner first because you really can't turn it under very much. So just turn it under as much as you can. Use your sewing gauge to measure that and then just be consistent and do the same measurement for the whole sides. Once you have it turned under, you can then stitch along the edge. Again, you're gonna do the pivot method at the corner so you have a nice crisp edge here and then this hem would be done. Here's a quick look at my finished corner. So of course this is the inside or the wrong side. And then I flip it over to the other side and you can see it looks pretty nice. So we're now gonna show you one other example. And this would also be a mitered corner. It's just a different way to go about it. So first um, we're actually gonna start on the wrong side. So we're looking at the wrong side of the fabric and we're pretty much gonna start it off the same so on each of your edges, like we did before, you're gonna fold up whatever your hemline is that you want it. So again, half inch, pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead, grab my straight pins here, and I'm gonna start pinning it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this edge too. And again, for now, just leave the corner alone. So I'm just gonna pin most of it and uh, then in the next part, we'll take care of that corner. I have the two edges pinned at the half inch mark. And again, we have this corner piece sticking up here. So with your corner, of course, we have this point that's at the very tip. You wanna take that corner that's sticking up and you wanna fold it in half. And again, when you fold it in half like this, these two edges are going to meet at a 90 degree angle. I could take this corner and I can fold it down so it sticks out like this in this direction. And I can also fold it in this direction as well. You're gonna to wanna to fold it in both directions when you press it. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this to my iron. I'm going to press it with my corner folded like this. And don't forget to press this edge too. And then I'm gonna turn it the other way. And then I'm gonna press in this direction what we're trying to do is we're trying to create creases. So if I was to remove my straight pins, because I've already ironed this, you're gonna get a crease 
going this direction and a crease going this direction. But then because of this corner, moving it from side to side, you're also going to get a crease that goes across these two intersecting edges. So this corner goes diagonally. I just took my marker, my fabric marker, and drew where that crease is so you can clearly see it. But you can see it's right at this point right here and it just goes from edge to edge. So once you have that crease, you're gonna go ahead and cut off this corner leaving just a quarter of an inch past your crease or your line. So I would cut about right here. Now we're gonna be refolding. So I'm gonna take the edge here where we cut off the corner, you can still see my line that I marked. Take this edge and fold it a quarter of an inch, just like this. Go ahead, pin it into place. Let me grab a straight pin to hold it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for each of the two sides. So you always do the one at the corner first, then I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna also fold it a quarter of an inch. So it should actually get folded right to your crease line that we created originally. If you need to use your sewing gauge to measure it, you can. So I'm gonna pin all along this edge, the quarter inch. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna fold to a quarter of an inch. Make sure that this stays folded here. So you may have to hold it as you're folding over. So you're gonna have a folded edge at each of these corners like this. After you finish pinning it, go ahead and press it. At this point, you're gonna take each of these straight edges and you're gonna fold them another quarter of an inch. Not the corner though, just these two sides right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of these pins. I'm gonna take this, fold it another quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to repin it. So I'm gonna do this side, and then I'm gonna do this side as well. When you fold it the second time, you're gonna end up with a mitered corner that looks just like this. Now, because it's just folded, it's gonna kinda of stick up like this. You could just stitch along the edge like we did with the other ones, and to hold it in place and to hold it down, but it may still open up in this area here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand sew these two edges together, and that's gonna keep it really nice and neat looking. So I have my needle and thread here. Again, use a matching thread. I'm just using a contrasting one, so it'll be a little bit easier. I'm starting on the folded edge on one side of my corner, and I'm, you can see I started a little bit underneath and they came out on the edge, because I wanna try to hide my knot as much as possible. So there's my knot, I'm just gonna tuck that under there as best I can, it's not cooperating, there we go. All right, so now I'm on the side, now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the folded edge on the other side of the corner. So again, I'm just trying to stay as close to the edge as I can. And just grab a little bit. It shouldn't take you very long because this corner is not very big. It really depends on how big you make the corner. And if I pull this, you'll see that the edges come together. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the first side that I did. And pull it. And there you can see that it's starting to close up. So I'm just gonna go ahead, finish this corner, tie a knot at the end. And if you don't wanna do a machine stitch for this hemline, you want something a, a little bit softer looking, you can do something similar with this hand stitch, which is a slip stitch, which you're grabbing a little bit of your main fabric, then the folded edge of the hemline, and then you're just going back and forth. So I'll show you what that looks like when I'm finished with this. Here's the right side of that corner. Now, because I did the hand sewing, you can see it's a little bit of a softer looking hem. Obviously, you can see my black thread. It would look a lot better if it was matching. If we flip this over to look at our corner on the inside, here we have the mitered corner. Again, you could just barely see my black threads, but it still looks very nice and neat. So now you have three different techniques that you can choose from the next time that you need to hem a corner. 
New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.